Uh, this morning I thought I'd go and do a little video of my Snuba rig that I'm going to be using with my Gold Dredge uh, this year. Uh, normally I would uh, use a snorkel and a mask and basically long arm as far as I could reach uh, to dredge. And I said, you know, we've got to come up with something better than that. Uh, if you try to go down too deep, you end up with water in your snorkel and it's just a pain. So I uh, started kicking around ideas for a snuba rig. And I didn't want gas because um, some of the places I go, um, you can't use gas. Uh, it has to be battery only. And also, I wanted something I could use on my boat. Um, metal detecting or just treasure hunting, whatever. So I came up with a battery powered rig, works really well. Um, I use a solar powered, I mean a solar battery uh, for using on uh, battery banks. So the battery lasts a lot longer. And you don't have to worry about your battery dying. And uh, I figured I'd go over it and show you what I got. So hang on. All right guys, so here's my setup. Got it laid out here on the floor. So what I'm using is a battery that's used for um, a solar system. And you put them in banks so they'll hold the charge a lot longer and you can recharge them um, and they hold forever. I use them on my camper, um, use them with a high bank and stuff like that, push water pumps. But uh, what I've done is I've got a little uh, air compressor from Harbor Freight. And I know people bash Harbor Freight stuff a lot, but stuff's cheap and it's good to experiment with. But what this is, is a high volume air pressure pump. What I've done is hooked up a switch from a well pump, a pressure switch, to cut it off and on when it builds up pressure so I don't end up with a plastic bomb. So, right here I've got a five micron air filter to catch any kind of uh, Teflon or any contaminants or something that would come out of the pump. And believe me, it'll catch it all. And you can disassemble it clean out any moisture which you see in it now um, which isn't a big issue because that as it leaves the hose it catches to my air reservoir which does two things one it holds reserve air acts like a big tank but two if there's any moisture in there it'll fall to the bottom of the tank and separate it so you don't have to worry about breathing in any kind of moisture and I come down I got 25 foot of hose with my air regulator my diving regulator and you can get these cheap uh, they're like 20 bucks from Amazon works really good um, and this thing will maintain pressure and the best way to check that that I found is turn the pump on let it build up pressure and cycle off put the regulator in your mouth and do something uh, that requires a lot of air like do, try to do 10 jumping jacks if you have enough air to keep going through that you're good to go because when you dive and you're you know fighting rocks trying to move stuff out of the way you tend to breathe heavier and if you don't have enough air in reserve you'll deplete your reserve and run out of air now what I'm doing I'm only going down about four feet maybe five foot um, just so I don't have to fight with a snorkel um, I'm just running a dredge hose and if things were to you know something was to fail on my uh, airline break or any kind of problems I can just stand up I'm not diving 25 foot 30 foot or something like that it's just mainly to avoid having to use a snorkel when I'm dredging and it works great so anyway I'm gonna cycle the pump on it's a little noisy but if you're outside and especially if you're dredging um, with my dredge I'm gonna have a uh, two inch gas motor uh, water pump running it's not gonna be a big deal and it's not you know overly noisy but I'll cycle it on <laughs> And it'll build up pressure. And once it hits 50 pounds of pressure, it cuts off. It doesn't take long. Everything was completely empty before I turned the switch on. And it's full. Now, you have air. And as you use your air, breathing it, you know, to work underwater, pump kicks on. And it'll maintain the whole time. I've tried it out two or three different times. Um, seems to work well. You can build this for 
I don't know, less than a hundred dollars, excluding the battery. The battery's the expensive part in this in this build. Um, and all the air reserve chamber is is four inch PVC glued together, reduced down. I drilled and tapped the ends to make my quick disconnect so I can break it all down really easy. Makes it easy to tote, very portable. And uh, as far as any fumes or anything like that from the PVC, what you use is that right there. You fill it with simple green, run hot water through the system, push it all through, run it till there's no more moisture coming out, and everything works great. It doesn't have any bad smell, doesn't have any bad taste. Um, the filter catches anything that would be coming through off the pump. It just works. So for a simple do-it-yourself little snoober rig that doesn't cost five or six hundred bucks for a gas-powered rig, um, I think it works pretty well. I think it's going to be a great addition to the dredge. Uh, it's going to make you know dredging, uh, especially uh, deeper than which you can reach with your arms a lot easier and you know that's what it's all about so normally right now this time of year i'd be in bath county virginia turkey hunting and uh trout fishing which is one of my favorite places to be but with the coronavirus going on that's not happening all the campgrounds are closed um they've got everything shut down uh where i would normally camp so I'm spending the day today because it's kind of rainy and gloomy and nasty. Uh, just putzing around the house, taking care of some loose ends, um, making a few videos. So if you like what you see, like, comment, share. Hit the subscribe button for me. It means a lot to me. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.